Oh, that's gonna be fun. like from meta we have Taskmaster, Spider-Man, no, and Spider -Man. That's, oh that's, oh shit, I'm, I'm also gonna play Spider-Man. Oh okay. <laughs> oh man, this is going well. Okay, from Max's side we got Taskmaster, Spider-Man, and Super Skull, and for meta we have so far Captain America, Iron Man, and Sentinel. Interesting choice. People are hype about the Spider vs. Spider matchup. Oh, they are? Okay, I'll switch to Spider now. Sorry, I just... Yeah. Spider Man's like my main thing. That's good. I'm so excited. Richard isn't happy. He's, he's, very, he's very disappointed right now. Alright, so the match has started. I never play games like Marvel. They're so they're so chaotic. We're gonna get Spider in the next round, so don't you worry. Ooh, one down. Nice. <laughs> Oh, very nice, very nice. Good super connect right there. And then, oh no, that one, that one didn't go through. Nice. <laughs> wow, there you go. We're expecting meta loops with Spider-Man. Oh, okay, sure. Let's, uh, let's Alright, looks like we're having the, the Spoder versus Spoder that Richard won. There's a there's a lot of uh, expectation for you is really high. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no, Spider-Man for you. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. My game for you. And apparently their game is like. 
Uh, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> they also want to see some Shuma. Shuma, Shuma? yeah. We're not done. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're we're coming back. We're coming back to some uh, <laughs> technical difficulties. Who's playing King? We're just trying to make it more suspenseful for you. Oh sweet. It's okay, more coming up. No, because, like, I saw some King Kong. I'm like, oh, Mark can't do that. Ooh, Mark. Where is Mark? He's over there. Oh, you heard it too. I was like, it's me, that's true. Yeah, lots of very high expectations for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, fuck. I want so many loops, I can drop that shit in my bowl for breakfast. Oh, is that uh, rich? Rich. Oh, Alright, we're getting back. The suspense is building up. We gotta see that Spider Man versus Spider fight. Oh, uh, boy. Alright, last try for Spoder versus Spoder. You're gonna disappoint the viewers? I am. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, How could you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Richard doesn't believe you. He he believes in you though. It's not meant to be. Oh not no! Be. Looks like we're not gonna get the spotter fight. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can. Yo, Renee. Can I get your three? Uh, can you take out? Yeah, mine's fine. Does BP have a copy? Yeah, he does. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> have you have you tried blowing on the disc? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the scratch? Oh shit, that's bad. It's okay, we have another copy coming, so we're gonna try that. Hopefully that works. The spoiler versus spoiler is not dead yet. All right, we're gonna try one more time. This time it'll work. But if it doesn't, it's actually not meant to be. Yeah, okay, yeah, that for sure. That's, like, every time you try to play Sporter vs. Sporter, it destroys the disc. It, it's only... It's only when Rich is watching, though. It's only it's only when Rich is watching that Sporter doesn't work. Oh yeah, because infinite is only a 2v2, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's try this again. You have so many users on your Xbox. Oh, no? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> this is all your fault, Richard. That's okay. We always have, like, every Wednesday, so we can come next week for tournament. I don't, I don't know if UMVC is going to be there, though. No, no, I we we believe in you. We believe in you. We're we're all cheering. All right. Oh man, this is spoiler game starting. Oh, I did it. 
Oh man. Uh, remember the old Welsh stone carver. Okay, okay. Hello, Sir Soul. Welcome to the stream. No, this is Casual's Week. This is a casual, casual game of UMBC3. Hey, I'm doing it. You can do oh, it, Meta. I did it twice. Whatever. That's better than. That wasn't a combo? No. Oh no, no that's right. Oh man. Are you first or second player? Okay, okay. Meta says that he's thinking of um, having like a super casual night of uh, UM or sorry uh, MVCI when the game comes out because it's gonna come out on uh, Tuesday, so Wednesday there's gonna be a casual tournament. Oh shit! What's happening? Oh, the hook whip. Okay, so nice, nice. Rich saw a couple of loops. I did it like twice. Maybe. Yeah. He got his loops. Are, are you are you satisfied with Meta's loops? He's he's satisfied. It's, we're good. We're good. I think someone wanted to see some Shuma plays too. If, I don't know if you guys know how to play Shuma. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Good block. Oh. Bye, Sir Soul. Thanks for coming by. Combos have started. <laughs> oh my god. Are games gonna start in Algonquin as well as here, or is it just gonna be at Algonquin once that opens up? Like the Fight Nights? Yeah. Are they gonna be at Algonquin, or...? Uh, they're being... They are here on Wednesdays and they're on Thursdays. Okay. okay. So they run in parallel. There's one tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. And so the, there's a big uh, tournament coming in at the end of the month, and that's gonna be held at Algonquin. Okay, okay. It's called Algonquin. Sorry? Probably, I live like five minutes away from Algonquin, so... Is it in the same room as last year, or...? Okay, okay. Yeah, because I used to go there for Smash. But I'll go. Compliments from Meta to Max. So how long have you guys been playing? No, like, in, in terms of like, how long have you started playing the game in general? Oh. Oh. I mean, I can't because I don't play this. <laughs> nice start. Is that 
spider combos coming up again. Oh, stop. <laughs> It's okay though, he gets another he gets another chance to redeem himself. Nice. If it's any consolation, I think you did pretty good. Bye, Max. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, 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 no. Oh my God, no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, actually, I hit the, I hit that little thing like. Oh, yeah, I, I bumped it hard. Oh, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. So what's happening on the I, I don't remember who I am anymore, but I think, I think this is where I live, right? Don't well, you remember know you love who Marvel, are. right? Huh? You know you love Marvel. I love, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's that's like with Batman and stuff, right? Yeah. Man, I love Marvel. Batman's my favorite Marvel character. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> so what do you play? What do I play? Um, currently Street Fighter Five. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Street Fighter Five. Um, I started playing. I don't know if you've heard. It's like a really niche, but it's like Kazuto Soku. It's uh, Toho. Toho, yeah, I know what it is. It's, uh, isn't that like? Um, Sort of like a fighting game schmuck kind of deal? Well, there's multiple versions of it. There's uh, there's like bullet hell ones and then there's like a fighter one. Yeah, I always thought it was bullet hell kind of game. You know, kind of like Senko no Rome. Yeah, there's, a, there's two versions of it. There's a, uh, or actually there's like a lot of versions of like the series. Okay, okay. But the, the main one that I play is just the fighting game. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. No, I, I never so did. So there's, there's that and uh, I'm going to start learning Guilty Gear. Oh, okay, okay. But I'm still waiting for my my stick to be fixed. So. Oh yeah, I kind of saw you. Uh, you were switching the buttons. Uh, no, no, that's like uh, the button and the PCB, so that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's perfect timing because uh, Dragon Ball Fire Z is coming out, so it's, it's like. It's still in the I think it was. It was a lot, but not not like this one. This one was more Guilty Gear fighting style. Oh really? Yeah, the same people are making it. So. Is it like a shooting fighter? Or? It's a shooting fighter, yes. Oh, okay. But it's, um, it's what people say. It's what Marvel Infinite should have been because it's a three v three. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm really curious, curious to know how that's gonna how it's gonna work. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. uh, so we have. Spider-Man versus Magneto right now. There's actually a, there's a fighting game um, that's coming out. It's like a crossover between Sona and uh, yeah, yeah, I heard two other games. Uh, what, what was it called again, though? They gave, they gave it a name. It's like uh, it was Blaze Blue uh, Crossover Plus. It's like it's something game. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a Blaze Blue game. Plus Plus Fighters. So it's like some weird name like that. Yeah. And then uh, Ruby's making an appearance as well. Yeah. So I'm and, really excited for that game. But isn't Ruby like only four characters? Yeah, Ruby's only four characters. Uh, they, they don't really have like a fighting game. This is just like a little cameo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the same for the other game that's in there, Under Nights and Earth. They're gonna have it. It's um, it's by the same people who made a Melty Blood back yeah. in the days. They're gonna have to uh, remake the sprites for the characters so we can fit along with the other ones or else it wouldn't be the same kind of game you know so okay. they have to like remake the post price that's why the game is going to like be pushed to probably late 2018 on my, my bet oh what yeah. console is it going for? probably anything else recent some console PS4 maybe Xbox One I'm not sure okay. probably there's, uh, there's another fighting game as well the Switch and I think it's made by Nicola and uh, there's like Code of Princess characters and uh, Cave Story characters. I've and never heard. No, you've never no, heard. No, that slipped my hands. I'm really, I'm really excited because I really love uh, Code of Princess and I also really love Cave Story. No, I never, I never played Cave Story. That's really? No, I never did. Ever, ever. Because so many courses are surprised. Oh, I never played that. Uh, mainly I play, uh, well, right now it's Stick and Seven. Mainly. It's, it's my kind of game. Um, as for other games, I play, um, I play a game like it's a good story. I don't know if you played, uh, I don't know what kind of games you played lately, but, um, Hellblade recently, really good game, really amazing game. It's one of those super linear kind of games, hack and slash. 
when uh, it's, it's made. How can I say it's? It's only six hours long. Okay. It's a story kind of game, but it's yeah. really, really good. It's currently playing uh, Yakuza Kiwami. Okay, I've heard of that. Yeah, but it's not a really good game. I heard it's like a really good story. It is. It is. It's uh, really over the top. You try to make it real realistic with the story. Yeah. It's uh. Uh, how can I say? It's kind of like a, a, a war between families, like uh, yeah. yeah, like mafia families. Yeah. It's really over top. It's ridiculous, and it's uh, you give that that Sega touch to it. Yeah, Sega's like, really good at poker. Exactly. Um, exactly. Have you ever played Sleeping Dogs? Like of course. Yes. Yes. I love that game so much. Oh, that was that was really good. Yeah. The, it's kind of sad to ban the second one. Yeah. He canceled it, yeah. Oh, oh man, that was sad. Because they were, I think, I don't even think they started development on it. I think they announced it and then something happened. Yeah, they had, yeah, they had a few screenshots, they had a few ideas, with it, but yeah, they can it for some reason. Was it gonna follow the, the story of, of uh... It's the same, yeah, it was gonna continue the story with the same, with the main okay. character again. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, that's why I figured you would have played it if you liked, like Yakuza. No, it's not the same kind of game though. It, it's not the same kind of game, but it has to do with like Mafia and like. It does, numbers, right? It so. does, but the thing, the thing with uh, Sleep and Dogs is they're trying, again, they're trying to make it more, of course, they're trying to make it a little more realistic. In Yakuza, you'll have some really ridiculous kind of stuff, such as fighting a bear, fighting, fighting a bull, kind of deal. Yeah, it's. Racing, like taxi races, it's really that kind of stuff, but it's, um, it, it, it's fun, it gets a little repetitive, because they get that little RPG element to it, okay. where all you have is like this small town, where you can probably like run across the whole town, in about 20 minutes long, at most. That's pretty big though, 20 minutes, like, it's decent size. It's, it's I, make, I make it sound like a lot, but you're gonna, you're gonna, like, visit the whole map very quick. Oh, okay, okay. It, it's not like Metal Gear or, uh, no. And the only way you're gonna get fights in the game is just random people on the streets who want to fight you. Yeah, that's how you get your experience. I like Pokemon, but Yakuza. Exactly, and then, and then it turns into a sort of a beat em up. Okay. But everything is just ridiculous. Like you, you, you can pick up items such as a motorcycle, a bike, a van, anything that's around you can fight, you can fight people around. But it's, it's just really over the top. Can you wear comfy shorts? You sadly cannot switch your main guy's costume. No way! Well, you can do a lot of stuff such as karaoke singing, bowling, pocket guitar racing, uh, batting range. Races, you can do so many side quests. But there's something you need to wear. Yeah, I know. I know. Richard says, I've questioned Yakuza to teach a domination so I have to be more confident. Is that a thing? Say it again? Teach a dominant. Teach a dominatrix on how to be more confident. That is, yeah. is that a thing? Yeah, it is. It oh, is. You God. Can, you can also host a host club where you have to train, have to train the hostess to be able to, like, be more open with people, talk with more, talk with more characters and that kind of stuff. It's ridiculous. Oh, man, it's really fun. Though. There's a lot. You, you got enough for your money. Yeah. There's, like, if you just play for the main story, you have maybe for roughly 20 to 30 hours of gameplay. Oh, oh wow. On the side quest, you can go up to 80 hours. I mean, it's 100. You really have for your money. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I have such a love hate relationship with those kind of games because, on, on one hand, I, I love, like, um, getting pay my money for it. But on the other hand, I need to like do every single mission. So I get like really obsessed with all of that. And right now it's like perfect timing for the game because last week or three weeks ago they just released, like I said, it's called Kiwami, but it's a remake. It's a remaster basically of the first game that came out on PS3 back in the mid 2000s. Oh wow. Yeah. It was for I think the 10th anniversary, so it came out in 2007. Yeah. When that game came out, now now they just released uh, the prequel, which is Yakuza Zero, where you can learn how your main character became the character that he is now. And plus, you just released for 39 bucks only. You released uh, the first game, re-released the first game on PS4. Okay. So you really got your money. Is it a re-release? Is it like a PS2 port or is it a HD? No, no, no. It's not a PS2 port. It's, it's a, a whole remake. Okay. A whole remake. It's, it's really well made. Well, well, well made. Ridiculous. Obviously, it's not. Don't expect the best of the other apples. Yeah. Because second, don't really. You don't put that production value. But it's, it's really great. It's, it's a really great game. Yeah. Honestly. 
Can I be honest? The only the only Sega games I've, I've played is like Sonic and then like Hatsune Miku Rhythm games. Oh, some Hatsune Miku. Some I love Hatsune Miku. Game. Those games are so hard though on PS3. Yeah, they have they have a uh, fight stick for uh, for those. They're, they're like they're like buttons. They're, they're just buttons. Well, it's just because the game is like so flashy. It's dead. You got all this background going on, and like the buttons are going swirly and everything. I can't I can't keep up, but I, I enjoy it. Yakuza games are great. It's, it's basically like saying, what if my, my character in Tekken is just getting involved with magic plus? <laughs> <laughs> they're actually planning to put, uh, I think they're planning to put the main character from Yakuza in Tekken as the second as the second guest character. Oh really? Yes. I heard, uh, aren't they having Hell, yes. Hellboy and... Hellboy? No, 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 god no. They would never... Uh, Hellboy, Hellboy in Tekken? I would, I would love to see Wait, that. Wait, no, there's a fighting game that, yeah. that has uh, Hellboy yeah, and... DC and Justice. Oh, is Justice it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was, I thought it was Tekken. No, but Hellboy and Tekken, that, that, that would be something. That would be something. I mean, I don't think anyone was, uh, yeah, Injustice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. So you don't play Marvel? Look at this. Look, see, look at the action. Okay, this is one. This is way too much to keep up with. Yeah. The reason why I don't play Marvel is because you have three characters to learn. Yeah. All their moves. Above that, above that, you gotta learn the assist. You gotta learn what connects. Who is good? Who is compatible with who? Yeah. And then once, see, look, look at this. For example, so look at that. You gotta learn the wave dash. You got, you gotta keep up with the speed. It's way too much. For me. This, this is too much. You have to learn when to activate X force and everything. Oh, <laughs> see, look what? at that. Look at that. That was fast. Yeah, no, I, that's why I can't, I can't play um, those kind of games and also like 3D Fighters. Oh, 3D Fighters is what I'm, I'm more used to. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. No, like, my, I'm like very basic, like 3D is, is all I can do. I, I, I mean, I've been, I've been around the block. I've been playing fighting games since pretty much since Super Nintendo. Yeah. Back in my days. Started with Street Fighter 2, the first Fail Fury. That kind of stuff at the arcade. You know, when back in days where games were important. Yeah. Get my, my time. <laughs> I'm, I'm sounding pretty old, but I'm getting older. I mean, I I was around when arcades were still pretty hype. I was probably like seven or something like that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, I mean, I was shit at I still am. Oh, no, don't say that. No, don't say that. <laughs> I mean, it's true though. Like, Every, everybody bashes themselves. It's like, see, Abe says, it's like, oh, look at that. I, it's like, I can't play Marvel. No, look at him go. Look at him go. That doesn't count. He, he doesn't count. He doesn't count? He doesn't count? <laughs> This, this man had a vision. He had a vision. He envisioned one day, I should make my own community. Yeah. And here we are today at Blurry Pixel. Off base green. Dropping drop, drop the F bomb. Dropping the F bomb. One, one day, I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Do what? Is that what I said? No, that's what I said. Oh, okay, okay. So what's going on stream? Is, is it only Eric? Uh, I, there's, there's two people. There's a... Uh, does a bot count as a person? Or... Bot count? Yo, Abe, does, does a bot count as a person? No, okay, there's two people. There's Richard and then someone else. It's okay, we're just we're just talking casually on mic. That's it's yeah. fine. The only time I do commentary is like on my Let's Play channel, that's about it. Oh you have some Let's Play channel? Sort of, like it's Pretty bare bones. I was in the middle of uh, Resident Evil 7 uh, Let's Play, but I got I got too scared though, so I actually I, I stopped. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start Resident Evil 5 because that's my favorite Resident Evil game. What do you think of Five? Tell me about it. See, it's not a popular opinion, but I actually really really love Five. Okay. Resident Evil 5 is one of my favorite games. I I played the shit out of it. I um right now on the PS4. I'm uh, I'm trying to get all the infinites. Uh, all, no, the uh, the emblems. Uh, I already have all the emblems. Oh, okay, okay. But I'm trying to get the uh, infinite weapons. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have like I think I have like half of them already. I have all the best ones, so, like Hydra, the uh, that really powerful hand cannon. Uh, and I'm just trying to 
difficult game. Oh, okay, okay. I have something real big. What do you like about five, though? I mean, what do I like about five? Yeah. I. I guess I'm curious because that's actually the one. It's actually the first time I heard I love five. I love five so much. But the reason why I like five was because it, I, yeah, five is the one uh, with Chris and Sheva. Um, it, it's the really like. It's not really a fan favorite, but it's not scary at all. It's not just that. It's, it's also very uh, a lot of people took offense to that game. Did they? Okay, okay, okay. You're having two soldiers, including a, an American one, going to Africa. I'm, I'm sorry, right off the bat, Capcom thought they could get away with this. And it's it, it was really offensive. A lot of people, like, it was almost bad in Australia really? and China for being the game that it was. That yeah, that, that's the one. It's uh, it's really something. I I can definitely understand that. Um, with <laughs> with that aside though, um, now to be fair, they were they were zombies. It's not like they were shooting. They, they were. Oh really? Yeah. They were zombies. Yeah. Well, like they're like the Ganados or whatever it's called from before. Aren't they the same in every all, all of them except? No. Uh, no. In in one, two, and three, they were zombies. Yeah, the classic traditional ones. That kind of zombie that you see on the screen there. Is Taskmaster a zombie? I don't think Is Taskmaster a zombie? No. No, he is not a zombie. That would be pretty funny though, but no, he's not. It's uh, but, uh, just another guy in the suit that basically takes the moves from all his opponents. Okay. That's, that's, he's not a mimic character, but he's, he's one of the Captain America's nemesis, I believe. I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not 100% sure on this. Really? Yeah, but Taskmaster takes the moves of all his opponents. Okay. And uses, uses that against them. He's like Mega Man. Yeah, but Mega Man actually defeats them and gains their power. Taskmaster just basically uses them flat out against them right away. Oh, does, he, does he get the powers or is it just like temporary? Oh, he's not. He's not he's, he doesn't have any powers. His own, the only thing he has is just he just uses people's moves against them. It's just he learns on the, on the fly. Huh. Okay. I, I, I believe I'm not I'm not percent sure on this. Now if you look if you look at uh, the pumpkin thing right there, your mom. Now that now now that's see the technical Marvel universe. Dormammu is a uh, that you know who that is. Yeah, I mean he's from he's from Doctor Strange. Yeah, but he's he's how can I say he's, he's a really beast of a character. Yeah. he's above he's above he's like being above everyone. Yeah, like him alone should be the last boss. Yeah. Wait, who was the last boss of this? Oh, Galactus. Galactus, yeah, that, that, no. Marvel seems to love to put those kind of bosses as last. Yeah. Are you excited for, uh, Vectron, uh, Sigma, though? Ultron Sigma? Uh, oh, yeah, Ultron Vectron. Ultron Sigma, that's, that's, a, that's a neat idea. That is a pretty neat idea, especially since it's a crossover and it's good that they came, they came, they came up with something, you know, yeah. like a baddie from two of the of both universe combined to one. I'm, I'm curious how that's gonna be. Yeah. And I'm, I don't know. Looking at the roster of Marvel Internet, it's obviously like a lot of people. It's, it's a little disappointing. Yeah. A lot of people expected newer characters. Uh, yeah. And the new additions that they put in the game so far. They put Gamora, Ultron, they put Jetta from Shark Stalkers that's now a playable character in Marvel Legends. Yeah. Mega Man X, the X version yeah. Mega Man. And I'm not, I'm not too sure about it. I think else. Thanos, Thanos is new to Infinite, but he was in... Uh, Marvel 2, yes. Yeah, he was in exactly, yeah. Yeah, they put him as well. But they put new characters as a DLC. Yeah, there's a six coming. Uh, there's a season pass has six coming, and I don't think we're, we're told who they are yet. Well, two of them, well, Yarning 2, if you pre order the game, you're gonna get Sigma. Okay. There's Black Panther. Okay. As well, from Marvel. But the rest, I, I just believe it's, it's uh, I think the big cast is like recycled. Yeah. Most of them are cast that you have in this game, a lot of them. And I just believe they, should, they, they had a lot more potential. They could have put, for example, you know, from the Marvel, they said they can't put X Men characters anymore. Oh, really? No, they're not allowed. It's like licensing or something. The Fox, right? I think so. I'm not 100% sure. So Wolverine is in 
no Wolverine. See, a Marvel game without Wolverine, without Magneto, without Doctor Doom. Oh. No, Doctor Doom. I'm surprised that Doctor Doom's not in the game. He's not part of X-Men. He's Fantastic Four. Yeah, X-Men has Four, but that's also a Yeah, that's Fox. Yeah, what? Yeah. My bet says what's going to happen is they're going to eventually put X-Men characters. But as DLC, okay. they're gonna make people like, purchase that, like the X-Men like, pack. The best in the world. Yeah, something like that. They're gonna probably put three characters, in my, in my opinion. Sounds like Capcom. Capcom's making the game. I did get two more fights. Two more fights. Season three is coming out. They made you pay for old characters. They made you pay for jury. They made you pay for Balrog. Balrog, the one who's been there since Street Fighter 2, they make you pay for Balrog. What is he in the game for every single game except for 5? Yes. 5 and 3rd Strike. But 3rd Strike didn't have the other characters. No, no, 3rd Strike had, had a whole new cast. They tried something new. And the reception was not that great. The characters were... They call it whack. They say this is the characters were like really... Cool. They didn't really belong in Street Fighter, so they didn't get like, they didn't get really good reception. So they went back after the four. They went with the old cast again, the newer version, the new gameplay. Timeline wise, though, Third Strike was supposed to be uh, after or before. I think it was after four. I think that's what Third Strike was. Third Strike was after four. Oh, right. Oh. I think that's what the timeline was. But um, I think we're back to back to DLC. I really do hope though they bring Venom because I miss playing him. Also, I, I love Venom so much. Venom should Venom should have been in Infinite. Not because you know, with the absence of Street Fighter, uh, uh, with the absence of uh, uh, X Men characters, they do space for the new Marvel Universe. Yeah. You can put Ant Man. Yeah. You can put, I mean, even Dark Souls, you can put Ant-Man, you can put uh, more characters of Guardians of the Galaxy, you can put Star- Yeah, they can put Black Widow, they can put Star-Lord, they can put Loki. Yeah, according, according to Richard, though, Venom's gonna be there. Oh, really? Wow. There's been rumors. Uh, but Venom so is- But if you look at the story trailer, Venom is there, but he's, he looks like a boss character, like he's, uh, like his suit. Is, no, that wasn't Venom. That was just like a random one. Sure? Yeah, because, um, I don't know. Do you know much about the, like, the game? I, yeah, sort of. I, I know that Carnage, Carnage is Venom's a nemesis. Um, so the way it works is the fight cars, or what they're called, and they're, they're like a sentient race. Like, they're an alien. Um, and, and so the way it works is, uh, depending on, like, I don't know, like, if you play, um, or watch any of the content with the symbiote in it, um, in Rebel Shadows, there was, like, this giant infection with, like, the symbiote, and it dropped. In Web of Shadows? That was going back again. Uh, yeah, uh, that... Oh shit, is Carnage gonna be in the game? What? Carnage is apparently gonna be in the game. Carnage should be in the game. Yeah, that would be nice. Carnage? Because. Carnage is like. It's awesome because it's a character that one up Venom. You see Venom, he's like, oh, he looks really intimidating. I was. You get Carnage above Venom. Which is gonna be perfect because the, with the movie coming out next year with Tom Hardy, we get. Like I knew that we were, we were gonna put Carnage as the bad guy. This hurts perfectly because who's gonna go? Who's gonna measure up the Venom? Other than Carnage himself. You know, it's, my it's, it's funny. Um, Wolverine uh, is a pretty good candidate. Wolverine, uh, Hulk as well. But but again, like those are different universes technically. But Wolverine is the Alpha Male. Wolverine is the Alpha Male. He's, when he steps, when he steps in, you know, just give him space. You know, there you go. In a lot of uh, Spider-Man games, every time there's like the symbiote involvement, you, you always end up fighting Wolverine. Like in Ultimate Spider-Man and uh, Web of Shadows, uh, Wolverine hates the symbiotes because he can smell them, and they smell really bad to him. Right? I just, think, I just think it looks like a joke when you think about it. You get Spider-Man, a guy in a spider in a spider suit. Then you get the symbiote. It's it's actually a creature taking over a human. You make it look more than a spider, an actual creature going against a guy in a suit. Yeah. You know what? It's, 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 <laughs> it's a guy in a suit wearing a suit. Versus a guy wearing a suit. Pretty much. 
basically the more suits you have, the, the stronger you get. Yeah. So you have to be wearing like a suit within the suit. That's why you have Iron Man in the Hulk Buster, right? And that's why he he becomes stronger. He has to be in the Iron Man suit, yeah. and that suit has to be in the Hulk Buster. Well, then again, if you put if you put uh, Iron Star just like that, yeah. he could he could be a different superhero if he wanted to, like Batman. You know, Batman's rich. Tony Stark is rich. Wait, wait. Okay, so no, no. How? Okay, so what if you have Tony Stark in like a business suit, in the Iron Man suit, in the Hulkbuster suit? Does that make him like a god? Have you seen? Have you seen the recent Spider-Man movie? <laughs> okay, so homecoming. Yeah, okay, yeah. you know, it's like he goes to meet up with uh, Spider-Man after the boat scene. Yeah. He comes out. He comes out of his Iron Man suit, but he's like in a perfect suit under. Someone needs to make a meme. Iron Man in a suit, in a suit, in a suit. <laughs> oh my God! I need to do that. That's funny. Um, no, but uh, going back to the symbiote, yeah. I'm obsessed with them. Um, did you know, like, there's so many, uh, in every single uh, Spider-Man series, there's, it's, they get so crazy with it. In, um, I don't know if you've seen, like, in uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, in the Ultimate Spider-Man show. I have not seen the show. No? Uh, Gwen, or not Gwen, uh, Mary Jane gets the Carnage suit. Oh, that makes sense. Like everyone, everyone gets the carnage suit. The carnage is not a suit. It's not a suit. It's a creature. Right, right, right. The carnage took over. Uh, a what? Uh, his name's Captain. Did he take over a murderer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah didn't he? That's uh. So, uh, carnage is actually like the child of Venom. Get out of here, really? Yeah, yeah. Carnage is the child of Venom. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Turns the child venom, and, and the way alert. <laughs> the way the way that symbiotes work Some is major reveals. I mean, this is like OG like Spider-Man the animated series. Well, you never knew that. Yeah. Back in my days, it was Mysterio and Scor Scorpion and Rhino and Carnage. Yeah, but that was it was a bit later. Yeah. Um, but the way that symbiotes work is they're not inherently evil. Um, Excuse me? <laughs> no, no, no. So, the species themselves are, are like not evil. Uh, they, they take after the personality of their host, right? So, because the reason why Venom is evil is because the first host that Venom had was like this psychotic, crazy alien bent on taking over the galaxy. And so that's why Venom is evil. And then when it went to its next host, which was, uh, I think, I, I guess, uh, I think there were like one or two hosts before Eddie Brock, but once it went to Eddie Brock, or first Spider Man, um, it uh, copied the. Uh, no, the, its next host was, was uh, Spider Man, and it was Peter, and then Eddie Brock, right? Now we're, now we're going really like in big details. It's like we're talking about Robin. Ro How many Robins were there? Like There's so Robins. many Robins. Yeah, yeah. They start with Dick, uh, Dick Grayson, uh, Jason Todd, Tim Drake. Uh, what's his face? Uh, son, of, son of Bruce. What's his name? Uh, oh, Damien. Damien Wayne. There's a girl as well. There was a girl Robin. Yeah, yeah. There was a girl Robin, really. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, and I think there's like I think there's like one more. Oh no no no! no, no. There was four guys for sure. Four guys. Okay, here, let's, let's let's Google it. So I'd like to apologize right now to the stream because we're going definitely off topic. Okay, there's like. But I'm not seriously not. I can't talk. Okay, I can't. I can't talk about Marvel except. Yeah. So probably throw some puns here and there. We, we can talk about Marvel if you guys want, but we're not going to know what we're talking about and we're just going to look like fools. Or, or you can hear about how awesome the symbiote is. <laughs> this is actually how you do Marvel commentary. <laughs> All in caps? Yeah. Where's Ahmed? <laughs> where's, where's Ahmed? Is he still here? Where's that fucking guy? Where is he? Oh, he's gone. Too bad. Yeah, the female Robin is named Carrie. What? Yeah, yeah. She was in um, the Dark Knight Returns animation. So basically, like when uh, <laughs> not talk about what's happening on screen, just talk about bullshit. Do you remember? Do you remember uh, the Phantasm? I think 
that, what happened to that character? That character just disappeared. The Phantasm disappeared. That was back when I was young. It was a BGS. It's like Mask of the Phantasm. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's, it's like a hood. It's like a, a skull kind of mask. Yeah, yeah. And it had a glove with two claws on top, I believe. There, there's a it puppet girl. It, it was a girl. Oh, a girl really? Suit, yeah. I didn't know that. Now, that was a sick character. Yeah. And it was, it was kind of like, um, kind of, kind of like, uh, not bad, but like Batman. When he puts the suit on, the voice changes. That's oh. a girl under, yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. That was a really cool character. I'm surprised we didn't, like, go further with this character. Wow, what the? <laughs> So, there is a lot of Robins, apparently. We have... Yeah, yeah we got Robin Hood, we got... Yeah, there's a lot of Robins. We, we have uh, Dick Grayson, that everyone yeah, loves. Yeah, yeah. He becomes Nightwing. Yeah. Jason Todd. Jason Todd, which the, becomes uh, the Red Hood. Yeah, the spoiler precious... Spoiler alert. <laughs> the precious psychopath. I love him so much. The spoiler alert right here. Like uh, Jason Todd. And he's also... He's also uh, that's spoilers, though. I know where you're saying. You, you know where I'm going with this. I, I say this right now. It's a lot of spoilers. That's a lot of spoilers. I know what you're saying, though. I don't know if I can say it to you. I don't know if you played the game. I, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Okay. So, <laughs> if you guys ever played Batman Arkham Knight, there's spoilers coming. This is crazy. But, that out loud? I mean, but this game is like a few years old. I feel like if you haven't played the game by now, not too bad. But uh, Jason Todd is also the Arkham Knight. And he's also the Red Hood, yes. Yeah. Uh, we also have Tim Drake. Tim Drake, well. which is the next. The Red Walker. Tim, Tim Drake, my, in my opinion, he's the best. He's the best Robin. Yeah. Because all he is is just a kid that's uh, just a guy that's been like having a hard life on the streets. Yeah. Living like uh, like a thug, you know, like a, like a, a gang member. Yeah. And he's been he's been taken over by Bruce Wayne. Trained him in combat. Yeah. Gave him the mantle of Robin. Yeah. Which is really good. And it was like, because it was, in my opinion, it was the best Robin. It fits him perfectly. It's not Boy of Wonder. No, 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 no. This is Robin went through a lot of hell. Yeah. I don't know. I, I say Dick Grayson and Jason Todd are my two favorites. Jason Todd, we didn't see much of him, though, because he's been, he's been branded with J, I think, on his cheek or something, or his yeah. forehead, or... The, the problem though with Jason Todd is like there's so many interpretations of him and I, I feel like none can really get him right. Because the thing is, he's not like inherently psycho, right? Like, it, things Are happen. Are you sure? I mean, things happen to him, you know, and he, he views justice differently. Because he believes that, that the Joker should be killed and not, and not just, you know, uh, arrested. Do you think the Joker should... What is your opinion? Like, how should we handle the Joker? I think they, would, they should have learned a lesson after the amount of times they arrested him and he escaped. And they should really just, you know, put him on death row. Just, you know, off with him, hang him or something. I feel like, I feel like he would escape as they're trying to, like... Uh, escort him. Here, one second. What do you guys What do you guys think uh, should be done with the Joker if you had the choice? Max is done playing Miguel. Oh my god, <laughs> this guy. But um, <laughs> but yeah, there's also uh, sorry. Yeah, what would you do with the What would you do with the Joker? I would kill him. That's that's that would be the best option. I would kill him. That would be the best option. Uh, after the killing the Joker, what do you do with Max? Oh yeah, he paralyzed. paralyzed. Yeah, paralyzed were good. Yeah, oh, but the thing sad. is, it should have been, it, it should have been, what's his name? It should have been Commissioner Gordon that kills him. Just the final bullet in him. Because that's the, uh, sorry, my voice cracked. Sorry, oh my god, that's embarrassing. Max, Max is going through puberty again. Yeah, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. It's okay, your voice is going to be extra low this time. Oh boy, alright, it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's okay, it happens all the time. Alright. Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? What was I saying? Uh, Commissioner Gordon should be killing Joker. No, he should be. He's the one that should do the final bullet in in Joker. Like as Batman is arresting the Joker, Commissioner Gordon should just shoot him. Because he doesn't know Batgirl's uh, it's his daughter, right? Wait, what are you talking about? Of course he does. He knows because when when the Joker. 
shot? When did Joker shot Batgirl? What, she wasn't Batgirl. She was just... What's her face? What's her name? Uh, what's her name? I'm forgetting her name. Uh, oh, oh, oh my god, what's her name? Uh, oh my god, it's, it starts with a B. It starts with a B. Barbara Gordon. Yeah, Barbara. They should... Like, he went in her apartment and shot her. Yeah. So, Commissioner Gordon is after him. Yeah. He should be the one that does the final bullet in the guy. And Miguel from Tekken should be the next Robin. Yeah. I hope I hope Eric's listening to this right now. He should be the next Robin. There's a lot of Robins though. Uh, there's not enough apparently. Well, there's never enough. There's Stephanie Brown who was Batgirl. Who the heck is that? Um, I probably I I, I personally don't know. But Damian Wayne. Is that like a cosplay or something? Just a girl cosplaying Robin? Or? No, like she, she was Batgirl. Batgirl was only Barbara's work. There's multiple Batgirls. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. There's Damien Wayne. There's, uh... Oh, wait, did you just say Damien Wayne played Batgirl? No, no, no. That's what you just said. Damien Wayne is Robin. <laughs> there was a... <laughs> hey, you know what? If Damien Wayne wants to be Batgirl, he can be Batgirl. I am... We are no place to judge. No, 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 no. no. Like one time when I went I'm for it. I'm all for uh, Damien being back girl. No worries. It's, it's like one time when I went to a convention when I was younger. There was, there was a Samus walking around. But it was like a zero suit Samus, the all blue one. Yeah. Ponytail and everything. Turns around, beer. This guy. It's like, it's like, oh wow, all right. <laughs> it's hilarious because it's like. It's, um, it, can, it can work, you know? Have you ever seen Wario in the Zero Suit? Wario what? War Wario in <laughs> Damien Wayne could do what he wants. Still makes him a whiny dick. That's true. Damien Wayne is a whiny dick. He's, I, he's always against Batman. It's like he because he wants he wants to be he wants to kill everyone instead. But he's he never goes with Batman. Never never agrees with him. Nothing. Nothing yeah. ever. Damien Wayne in the New 52 is such an asshole. He's like a little, a little piece of shit. Yeah, because he wants to follow the footsteps of uh, Ray, 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 yeah, Ray Bell Rule. Because Batman doesn't follow his, his ways. Yeah. He's against his own dad. Yeah. Luckily, they didn't put him in the movie. They didn't put Damien Wayne in the movie. They said they put Bane in the movie. Oh, hello there! <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, Damien Wayne isn't that all the time. Like, like, give me, give me, like, some time and I'll be able to find something where he's, like, a precious baby, but I'm gonna need a lot, a lot of time. You should have kept, you should have kept Damien Wayne in Teen Titans. That's it. Never oh, put him anywhere else. Damien Wayne in Injustice 2 is a piece of shit. Hold on, there's, it's because there's two Robins in, in story mode. Yeah. There's two Robins. Yeah. You get, there's one of them is, Nightwing is one Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Nightwing is technically dead though, because Damien killed him. But in the story he's there, and then later yeah, on it's Damien Wayne. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Injustice, I don't, it makes no sense. Injustice is, uh... Has no justice for characters in storylines. We need like we need just a pure Marvel fighter. A pure Marvel fighter to combat like DC. Oh, but you know what else we need? We need like a DC versus Marvel. That would never happen. That would never happen. One can dream though. One can dream. They would never get along. They would never take hands. Instead, DC does whatever hell they want. They make a Super Nintendo fighting game. They make it. They make versus of Mortal Kombat. Why? Why the hell not? You know why the hell not? They don't have to get along. That's the point of DC versus Marvel. They're fighting each other. You see, Marvel should dance with the people, with the right people, with Capcom. You know, it's like Capcom's been around fighting games. You know what? We're gonna shake hands with Capcom and make like a bunch of games. You know, it's like Street Fighter versus uh, X Men, Street Fighter versus Capcom, yeah. Marvel versus Capcom, yeah. Marvel versus Street Fighter. You know, it's like how many, how many of them were there? A lot. DC, DC went their own way. They made a Super Nintendo game called uh, I think it's Dawn of Justice. It's just a simple DC fighting game. I mean, Rich is right. There are Marvel vs. DC comics. Um, and there, there are, yes. Um, actually, one of the craziest ones is uh, Spider-Man vs. Superman. Have you ever heard of that? It must have been a really quick match. No, so it, it was a very, very old comic, but basically what happened was like Lex Luthor and Dr. Octavius 
like teamed up together and made some uh made, yeah that's a thing go search it up uh it's spider-man versus superman that's an actual comic but it i'm not actually i'm not gonna spoil it on stream but if you're curious you're you not should... gonna spoil an 80s comic okay <laughs> <laughs> what what? <laughs> no, Lex Luger, not Lex Luger. Lex Luger, the wrestler. <laughs> is that a, is that a Lex Luger person? He's a, he's a wrestler, yeah, the narcissist. The I'm narcissist never, I don't want the total I, package, Lex Luger. <laughs> wrestling isn't really my demographic. I'm like, it's hilarious. I'm like waifus and anime. I'm oh, total the trash. The waifus. Like waifu like, wars are like my thing. But, uh, wars. Those are like my, those are those are my wrestling. Um, they don't, they don't wrestle. Though. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I said they have girls walking around. Back. Yeah. And stuff. <laughs> Please do. I I need to see this. I need to see what this Lex Luger looks like. Lex Luger is hilarious. He was, he was a, like a really poor made wrestler. He, no, he, he was a mess. He was a mess, the guy. He was very oh, funny. he looks like a tool. Yeah, see the narcissist. Look at that. Look at that hairstyle. That, that mullet looks... The total black. package Lex Luger. Look at that shiny-ass body. This is, <laughs> this is why I'm gay. This is why I only date girls. Because of that. Because of that. Because not every guy's like that. <laughs> not every guy's like that. That's, that's too bad. That's, that's too bad. That's pretty funny, though. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna go grab food, but I'll let you take over. And go oh god, back. I can't. can't take over. I'm just gonna order. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna grab something too. Miles, Miles gonna get Miles, out. help your friend out. Help Sorry. your friend out with commentary. We can't lose this app. All right, on commentary. Yo, Eric. Okay, can we leave? Can we leave commentary alone for like about ten minutes, or somebody has to be here all the time? Gonna go grab, just gonna go grab food real quick, man. Be right back. Hi, stream chat. Hey, guys. Who we got for chatters here? It's all good, man. You good? You got no factor. What are you scared of? You're fine. Play defensively. I see you giggling. As long as there's gameplay, blah, blah. Don't worry, Rich. I have come to take up the helm of commentary. I'm about to have some Marvel 2 up in here. And there are a lot of very good OG players here. Last one hits high, you can do it again. 
I like that anyway. It's fine. He has those little mix ups, just have to block where he is. Oh! You got it, you're fine, you're fine. Factor. Oh, you don't have it. Anything in the level three. <laughs> Okay, you still got Dante. Let's ride up the X Factor. Play safe, play safe. He's gonna try and panic army. Alright, guys, we're gonna be swapping up to Marvel 2. Marvel 2. Oh, God. Oh, fucking God. Hit the um, menu button. Marvel 2's on here. Yeah, we're starting up Marvel 2 station here. Or do you just want to beat the shit out of them a little bit? Uh, all right, we're gonna have a special guest, Takuya Matsumura. He is a regional third strike champion and hates this game but plays Virgil. Let's go. We got anybody out there in Streamland or am I talking to myself right now? Everyone, as in like the one person that's like watching. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's Rich. <laughs> he usually commentates here. He's a big Scottish guy. Oh yeah. Well, thank you. You're very nice. But you guys should follow me. So. Rich, you should try dropping a set. But <laughs> that's the storytelling. What, you mean Skyrim? The 40 versions of Skyrim for 20 years? Oh man, okay, but the Switch version though. Yeah, I know it was funny actually, when they were doing the Switch announcement. You can find my... It was uh, like, Bethesda, and everyone's like, oh my god, Skyrim. It, it was a bigger disappointment than when they didn't announce uh, uh, Fallout 4. Thank you very much. I think that's the right link, I'm not sure. But you should be able to find my YouTube channel and everything else there. Let's do it a little bit more Marvel 3 before Renee leaves. Can Ray 
just miss something? That sounds like a patented Renee Woo! Oh, sorry, remove the S. I think that's it. Man, why are these wings so fucking dangerous? Man? What happened? They have like sharp bones. They keep breaking the bones. Oh shit, really? Yeah, it's okay though. I'd say. Are they really brittle? Yep. Oh shit, that's not good. Don't die. Oh, thank you very much, oh. Richard. Oh. I love this so much. Shadow Romano. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Nico. Anyway, Rich, you should uh, drop a set with her next week. Where if no one else is on tournament, uh, speaks my food. Uh, it. Three, four, five, and okay. I want to get into Tekken. The fuck is? The only one. I think it's over there by you. My wet cap. Thank you. Hands are fucking sticky. But yeah, I was having a uh, hot mic. Oh, okay. I love spicy food. I'm a fan. Have Definitely you, a fan. What's, uh, have you ever tried, like, the flash bank? Never heard of it. It's uh, 2 4, 5 million on the global scale. I've had similar kind of stuff, yes, but not specifically that, no. That's, uh, I, you can't, I don't know if you can find it locally anymore, because all the, the places that specialize in uh, chili sauces and stuff shut yeah. down. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Because there was one in St. Laurent. It's Amazon Prime, that shit. <laughs> Get okay, whatever the fuck you want on there. I'm sure they can send you like a Mexican trial. You wanted that to spice up your dish. I, man, I, I, I think that's more like dark web shit. Yeah, well. <laughs> dark web Amazon. Yeah, dark web. Like, it's officially Amazon, but not actually. Because mm. they're not supposed to... You're... Yeah, but you know what would be some dank ass shit on dark web? you like Optimus Prime. Optimus You'd be ordering from Optimus. Oh my god. Sorry, Rich, I'm not sure what you mean by that. The amount of people that are so spooked on the mic. You mean that people don't want to commentate? I think it's I going think, I think that's what he's getting to. Getting at. I think that we were talking about that. Earlier. What? Uh, about like getting me into commentary. Oh yeah, yeah. But the thing is, people are. Uh, so one thing you gotta know is. Rich comes from the Smash community, okay. where like every scrub and their mother want to get on the mic when they know shit at all. <laughs> um, the FGC is a little different. Most people in the FGC want to compete and they want to get better. So commentators are few and far in between because everyone's too busy fucking playing. Yeah. So there's a lot more appreciation for people that, um, specifically but not always, um, People that have a very good understanding of the game, but maybe they can't execute it as well, or they can't compete as well, right? Yeah. Um, to sit down and kind of take someone that, from the viewing audience, that not only, like, can you talk to people that know a lot about the game, but you can also, you know, hit that common denominator if you would really try to get into it or to understand, yeah. right? So you got, like, that, that, that group of people that's just getting exposed to esports, yeah. or just getting exposed to fighting games, you have to be able to do both, right? Yeah. And it's hard. It's, it's, it's not a skill that everyone can do, right? And a lot of top players are terrible at it. So, uh, if it's something that you can do consistently, you can definitely build a following from it. Like, commentary? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know, uh, I, I... I forget his name, but I follow one of the... Like, he, he's usually at most of the events. Uh, yeah. Commentating over for Smash. Yeah. I don't know, I don't really remember his name, though. Mm -hmm. I always enjoy watching people commentate and see what I can learn from it. Right. Because I use that on my channel. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of like doing, 
doing live commentary is a totally different thing. Really? I don't find it. Well, I stream it, for a it long depends, time. It so. depends on what you're doing. If you're live commentating like uh, a game that you're you're playing, like you know, regular like action game, game, right, right, it, right. It's a lot easier than than I would say like sports commentary. Because it, it's, it's very it's maybe not easier or harder, it's, but it's very different. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a very different sort of mindset with with the with the adventure game or whatever. You know, you're, you're casual about it. You're saying whatever. Uh, but when it comes to like tournament commentary, sports commentary, like you have to be very vocal. You have to know what you're talking about, right? Depending on what you're doing. It really depends. I mean, uh, you'll notice in most commentary duos, it's like the super tech guy or like the the very like straight man. Here's what's going on, kind of. It's like. John Madden, right? Yeah. John Madden and his guy. The one guy's a straight man, John Madden's like that cookie. I was a coach for a little while. You know, like that kind of commentary that's not status quo. He just says what's on his mind. Right? Yeah. Just that's there. why they're such a good duo. Yeah. But I mean, there's good duos that are like color and color, like Yipes and um, Chris Matrix, for example, right? Yeah. Or, um, you know, those types of pairings come along where it's two inforta- informational dudes, yeah. like James Chen and uh, Ultra Day, right? They both know a ton about the game. Sejam and uh, Chen, those yeah. type of uh, parents. But then you've got the really professional, like, esportsy kind of ones, like Seth and anybody, right? You know Seth Killian? Uh, I've I heard of the name, yeah. He's uh, one of the, the big names at EVO. Yeah, I would be doing streaming. Uh, once I get my internet worked out, for sure, I'll be looking into that. It's just right now, my upload speed is shit. One yeah. megabit. That's and I'm pretty awful. And I'm supposed to be getting 20. Like, we have the same internet, mm-hmm. but my, my upload is... Uh. It's probably your Wi-Fi. Well, I have a, oh. a power line, so it's uh, Ethernet over power. Oh, yeah, that's terrible, too. <laughs> get uh, Is your router wireless AC? Get a wireless AC router and adapter. I, I think it's wireless and Yeah. AC has better wall penetration. Yeah. yeah. Alright. It's fun though when you get to interact with the people watching you, right? So I definitely I look forward to that for sure. Yeah, and also streaming's really oversaturated now. Yeah. That's another problem, so. Right, because everyone like everyone, everyone and their mother is streaming now. Yeah, because they they all But here's the thing though, right? Only a few people do it well. Yeah, but I mean I, I feel like all right, unpopular opinion time. Um, <laughs> I love it. I love Miles's like unpopular opinions. They're always great. Yeah, because they're every, what everyone wants to hear but doesn't want to say, right? Um, a lot of people that are popular on Twitch don't deserve that popularity. It's just like oh, for you know, sure. famous people, right? Well, like you have like even on YouTube, you have like PewDiePie. Like all he does is scream. Yeah, like, man, I can scream. That's what kids in that generation like, right? But yeah, that was an easy, unpopular opinion. Is, does everyone know about this like fun, fun time with Miles? No, 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 no. No, they, they just know I'm, I'm like, mad at lots of things. <laughs> no, but uh, but here's the thing. Because there's like there's there's certain unspoken things that we like all know, but people just won't say. Like for the longest time, you know, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the perfect example. For the longest time, when we looked at Marvel Three as a game, some people thought it was, was great. And then the people that came from like Marvel 2 thought it was shit. Like absolute shit, right? And most of those people still think it's shit. And the reason being is you can't get away with a lot of the like RNG shit that happens in this game where it's like, it's a three-way guess and then I fact where I kill your whole team, right? Yeah. That does not happen in the older games. You really have to have good timing, good positioning, good movement, good everything. And uh, Marvel Infinite actually changes that because there's no comeback to anymore. Okay. The Infinity Stones give you sort of that type of thing, but it's nowhere near as overwhelming as x was, right? It's a lot like the Smash community, right? Like, oh, so? When, uh, when you're moving from melee to, uh, to brawl, there's yeah. that super, like, trip mechanic. Mm-hmm. And so people were really upset about that. Yep. Uh, and they're like, oh, like, Brawl sucks, Brawl sucks. Yeah. And, and even now, they're like, oh, Thor Yeah, sucks, like, Marvel, sucks. the transition from Marvel 2 to Marvel 3 is a lot like the transition from Melee to Brawl. It's almost the same thing, really. Because yeah. Melee had all that tech that you had to learn to be even viable, right? Marvel 2 is like that, too. See, that's, that was the disappointing thing about Brawl, is that they, they tried to turn it into a more, like, kid-friendly party game. Ooh. Which is what Smash Bros. was supposed to be at first. But then it, yeah. people found out how broken it was and how technical it could be. Right. And so it evolved into like, a very serious team of fighting. Mm-hmm. Which, 
And then you see like Smash 4 and it's like, what is this shit? Smash 4 is not too bad. Like, a lot of the technicality of it is, is gone, but... It's, it's like what Marvel 3 is to Marvel 2. Marvel 3 is like a watered-down version of these games. That's it. I'm trying to make it into a kid-friendly fighting game. I don't know if it was supposed to be a kid-friendly fighting game. It's supposed to be like a party game. Yeah. And it still is. So like, why, why do the character balance even matter in a party game? You're eventually gonna get a Pokeball and win, right? Like, yeah. Pokeball or uh, a <laughs> laser gun. Yeah, because if you think of like, you think of one of the best characters in the game, like Diddy, right? And you, th you know that Diddy's good because he has banana peel. Banana peel is a good item. And all things like throwing items in this game are normalized. Uh -huh. So like, if you throw an item, it's a certain amount of frames. Everyone's is a little different, yeah. but it's super fast, right? Yeah. You can do it on a shield, and also it knocks down, which gives you a free kill. Right? Now, Diddy is really good in the metagame with no items. Is Diddy in the metagame with items? I don't think he's that great. Characters that can keep away effectively and go for the items that have faster ability are going to be better than Diddy, right? And it's like, so. Ganon, Ganon in traditional uh, 1v1 is shit, but in like party 4 player, he's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he's smash it. <laughs> yep, Absolutely. same idea. Falcon punches every day. PM is alright. There's a. Uh, it, it sucks that they're not having any more support for it. And I, I wish they, I had something like they, there was someone that stepped up for it, right? But we haven't seen anyone do that. No one, no one's continuing the project. No one is really. It's done. Working the, on Nintendo it. Nintendo killed that shit. You think so? It's over. Yeah. Because usually they'll say that like. Oh. oh! Did he just teabag in the middle of that combo? <laughs> what? What? What was that TBPS? TBPS the max. Wow. So I didn't realize Nintendo had something to do with that. What, it had X Factor? Hey! It's fucking Wolverine, it's never free. He's just, he's just gonna be like clawing at your ankles till he gets you. <laughs> That's a good rule of thumb. That's a good rule of thumb. Wait, is this a brownie? <coughs> I just realized there was a brownie. I thought it was a short. No, it's a brownie. What the, what the fuck? That's a nice surprise. There was a brownie with my uh, Chateau, uh, Chateau Romani. Yeah, Chateau Romani. Holy fuck. That's very true, Richard. It is. Yeah. Yeah, this game is so good. I didn't know that. I thought it was a court. I can't wait for the virtual, the virtual wars. Oh my God! It's virtual versus virtual, the derp fest. Oh, the fuck! Oh my god, Virgil's so retarded. Oh no, Peter! No, no! Do it, do it, it's do death! It. It's death! Oh, the defense! Is this the end? Oh my god. You know it! Wow. So fucking dirty. What's your optimized combo? Six hits, level four. Let's go! <laughs> oh yeah, right. T-bags. You gotta put those in there. Wait, the X Factor depends on your level? No, it's uh, how many dead characters you have. It amplifies. Oh, okay, okay. So the more characters you have to get, yeah. the more powerful. The longer it lasts, the more damage you do, the more speed you get. Okay. Yep. But if you have all the characters up, it doesn't really add a whole lot. Uh, so is there any reason to do that? Uh, if, the, if the other team has a character that makes the team, 
like Zero, for example. People used to burn it to kill Zero, but now everyone's so optimized that these are not worth it unless you're trying to take out like two to three characters. Like, I remember you were playing, and I go, you're Magneto, everything else. Different game. That was original Marvel 3. Okay. This is now like three years of two, ultimate, which is the second one. <coughs> <coughs> A lot of things changed in those versions. Oh, okay. Yeah. And also people are just more experienced with the game, so they found stuff that's like, if I get a hit on you, you die. Kind of things, right? Before, that wasn't as common. Right. Oh, oh. Are you, are you reviving Tack? Tack is being risen right now. Oh, man. Hey, okay. Make it, make it count. Yeah, he drops it. Yeah, he drops it. Oh! Nice. Nice. Oh, you're dead. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, it's not back there. I didn't notice. Hey, my shit. Oh, wow. There's John mix up right there. Watch out, Cobra. Still one, though. Sorry? Level 4 and not on the last character. I'm not sure what he means. But level 4 is a virtual thing. Because you activate, then you do level 3, so it takes 4 meters. Because he doesn't have access to that without double triple. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's death to both characters right there. And one virtual mix up and game over. Oh, the block! Oh, but he went for the Ricky Ortiz and got a throw instead. <laughs> it doesn't matter, he's in factory, he wins anyway. <coughs> so that's what Marvel set play looks like, right there. You just saw a great example of it. Oh, Ricky Ortiz. Yep. Tax mad, man. I haven't seen Tax mad in a while. You think so? They just have a, re a, re a reputation of dropping things. I was gonna say you're like you're like uh, spectator curse, I guess, or audience curse. Yeah, yeah, right there. We we had to cancel it out. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but then then I found out that the works of Miss Marvel. And she's fucking stupid. So I can't wait to play her. There's a couple things about her that I don't want to say right now, but I found out that it's like, okay, this character is dumb. And yeah, but dumb in a way, I was going to say, dumb in a way that you might not expect. She is Storm. But, but the, the issue is Storm did not have hyper armor. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> Well, she has some of them. Basically, uh, jump jump roundhouse is is basically her, her fierce, the lightning fierce. Just bring back storm in general. Okay, Marvel two storm. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, Shiro's gonna be dropping a nut based on that Chun Li that I've seen. She's so fast, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been watching a lot of Tyrant just because he's the only one putting out content right now. But uh, did you see Zero May Cry yet? Has still has all that shit. Because you can do uh, you do million dollars, right? 
And when they, they're in the spinning state for the last bolt, you just tag, you charge your full buster, and then you go through them while the bolt's coming out. It's like, what do I even do? That's, Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. See, I think a lot of a lot of the big stuff is going to be resets into air grabs because you get all that red life for free. You know what I mean? And also, people think the soul gem is broken. I don't. I think it's. I think it's weak. Like mid, mid maybe, mid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the other thing about it too is that they revive with only a tiny bit of health. So like, if you're not really careful and someone tag switches while you're doing stuff, they can birthday you for free, right? Yeah, so. Mine is ridiculous, by the way. I don't know if you know the other mechanic. Um, when you finish the stone, no, when you finish the stone, if you wait till the very end, or you can do it eight times during the stone, but if you wait till the very end, you can expend the rest of the stone time to do a level three. So mine not only gets you all four of your bars back for tag switching, and lets you do a level three, that gives you four bars again, you get a free level three at the end of that. Yeah, but if you just do one, two, three, level three to kill somebody, what do you care, right? Because you're recovering all that bar anyway, so... Yeah, but the big thing is going to be characters that have install supers with Mind Gem. Because you're just going to be like, okay, I have full bar, activate, activate, and then get full bar again, and then you're good to go, right? So... I already saw it with Firebrand. Firebrand's one of the good people with that. Because he gets the helper, and he gets hyper armor, it's, it's stupid. But no one wants to play him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Arthur's gonna be really good. Mark my words. His new, his new projectiles are ridiculous. The axe like goes out and comes back. It's crazy. Tiger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like Psylocke. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. God, is Tax streaking you right now? How badly? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty bad. Look what you did to me now, or whatever. Sorry? Oh. Like, um, that guy from, uh, Bionic Man. Uh, Spencer. Spencer. Like, he's really relevant now. I don't know, save money? That's my guess. I don't care. With all the good characters going to be DLC anyway. It's the Capcom way. <laughs> but if it's a good game, I don't give a shit. Like, I'll pay for the characters if it's a good game. But if it's a shitty game, fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, I bought it already, yeah. But I bought it for, like, half off when I found a... A jank ass CDP online, so. Oh, did you get like two away? Yeah. Okay. Paid 30 bucks. Nice. It's normally 70. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Renee, you're getting fucking styled on, dude. Focus. Oh shit, it's Smoogles. That was almost a confirm. Oh fuck. Oh no, it's Virgil. Devil? 
Okay, we have Devil as well. Oh, that's Devil. That's probably him. See the mix up, the Shady K? Oh, it doesn't even go for the Shady K. Goes for the grounded version. Oh yeah, Rich, there definitely is a confirm off butter gun. That's why, if you were listening to the mic, you might have heard Tax say, what? Because he is supposed to get a confirm off that. You do butter gun into Air Dash downtown. And you get a full combo off it. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Reset opportunity here. Oh. Yeah, so Rich, Butter Gun causes soft knockdown. So you can combo like anything off of it. In fact, one of the common setups is to do Butter Gun into Virtual Assist. Because you can chase down the Virtual Assist full screen. Butter Gun's actually a really good reset tool. Oh, that's gonna hurt Virgil. Oh, burns it. I don't know if I agree with that decision. Of course, normal tack fashion gonna lay out that X Factor. Says you can't hit me. Massively scaled combo here. Gotta go for a reset. Drops. There we go. That works, man. Whatever. Kills. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> All right, we got Speed Wolverine coming in. Raw butter gun? Yeah, man. You do it because you can cancel it with foot dives. It's just a space control thing. Tack's not gonna like that one. He doesn't like foot dives that are unsafe. Happy to blow this out with beams. Has to block this mix up. Birds are coming in. No X Factor though, so it's a lot less scary. Its meter's pretty low as well. Goes for the Doom Loop, misses it. Butter Gun hits. Going for that Butter Gun Virgil setup. Players just play really well. Mm -hmm. Are really astonishing to me. It's yeah. so chaotic. I can't. I can't even follow half the time. Yeah, it's a tough game for sure. Like, it's a lot of fun though. I can see what's going on. I'd be like, okay, that's a, that's a really cool combo. Mm -hmm. But it's like, what is going on? Like, I, I think that the, the big thing is like, footsies are just different in this game. Like, your understanding of footsies from Street Fighter kind of comes over a little bit. Right. But since the moves are so like huge and comical. Yeah. Right. Pussy's more based around movements and uh, reaction to setups and that type of thing, right? So, um, yeah, there's a lot of split-second decision-making in this game, but most of it is mitigated by how well, once you get a hit, you can convert that hit yeah. to a kill, right? Which is not always possible, but most of the time you can find a way, right? But the other thing is using movement to evade setups that are hard to get out of, right? So, like, the reason why you see Magneto struggling so much in this matchup is he can sort of get away, but he eventually has to land in the Wolverine's mix-up. And the, the thing that makes it so strong is that Doom's beam locks you down. So it's just in this game when they hit you, you can't push block the other person from holding on you, right? But since Doom beam is so wide and hits so many times, tall characters can't duck it. So when they duck, they still are forced to eat the full beam and the high-low that comes after you, right? So, this team is actually a lot weaker against either A, an assist that has high durability, or B, a point character that can duck the beam, like Morrigan, for example, right? Morrigan can duck, because a lot of people that do the Wolverine mix up with Doom Beam kind of just autopilot, like they go in, they do their high low, whatever, because they have to commit to it to hit, right? Right. But Morrigan can duck the beam and jab them on their way in and get a full conversion off that, right? So that's, the, it, it forces the Wolverine to play more restrained, right? Whereas if you're playing a character that's tall, you have to just hold that shit and hopefully block it. Yeah. Right? So. There's no, there's no air blocking. Right? Yes, there is. Yeah. There definitely is. That's, that's a common strategy, too, is like the chicken block. 
because if uh, if someone's attacking you, right, and you're coming out of block stun and they're trying to do another move, if there's a gap, you can jump and then block right away, right? Which, when you're in the air, you don't have to block high levels. You just have to block anything, right? So that's why chicken blocking is popular because when, <coughs> when you're standing, you're vulnerable to highs and lows and throws. Right. And when you're chicken blocking, you're only vulnerable to hits and throws. So that, that's, a, that's a very... It's a good defense in this game. How other games get around that is that they have more pre-jump frames that you can be hit during, right? This game, you jump pretty much instantly. Okay. Every game has a different amount of pre-jump frames. One thing I noticed about this game, though, is you get a lot of Magneto and Dr. Lee. Yep. I, I guess they're, they're the high is that, a, is that a question? <laughs> no, no, well, I mean, I'll give a follow up with it, but I guess they're usually like the really high tier. Uh, Magneto's decently high tier, but like, if you're thinking about this game, you gotta think of it in terms of options. Right? These characters have have or provide the best options to a team. That's why they're so popular. Oh, okay, okay. So they're just good at working with a lot of other characters. They're good at certain things, right? Like, Doom you see on every team because his assists are amazing. They're the best ones in the game, right? But it's also on point, he's a passable character, right? Like, yeah. he's so good. He has foot dive loops, he has a level 3 loop, he has all that stuff, so. Doom is just a great slot two or slot T on, on any team, right? But Wolverine and Magneto are great point characters because they can get in there and do damage without meter and build a bunch of meter for your team behind them, right? So, um, also, if you use meter with the main characters, you can usually get kills that last time. Right. We play Marvel 2. Marvel 2! <coughs> That's mine. Yeah. Put on Marvel 2, let's go, it's been no long enough. <laughs> Abe, do you have another Xbox stick around? Uh, yeah, because they don't have one. There's one sitting over there. Is that yours? Johnny! Come on! Is that yours? Yeah. Is it Xbox? Can you check? PlayStation? Yeah. Gotta find an Xbox. Bro. But in this mental mind, I would like to use the, the Xbox. But I was like, no one brings an Xbox here. Well, I mean, all the all the Marvel games are on Xbox right now, so. Oh, okay. But I mean, that'll be eventually be gone with the next one. But you can use all these six PCs, so it's like. Wait, is uh, uh, MPI uh, PS4 and PS4? Steam, Xbox 360, PS4. Or Xbox uh, One. Oh, I was like, that's a strange choice. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I forgot they changed the name. Fucking, okay, it's a stupid name, isn't it? Yeah. Go from the 360 to the 1, it makes no sense. Same with Battlefield. Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1. I'm like, yeah. guys, stop. Stop. <laughs> Get your numbering right. As if they did not notice the backlash that Microsoft has in the game of And now yeah. everyone is doing it. Everyone is doing, like, oh, this one. It's confusing. I'm, I'm calling it right now. The next Halo game is going to be Halo 1. <laughs> but, but it's not numbered, it's going to be letters. Like yeah, yeah, O-N-E. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so cheap! You heard it here first. Oh, it's so cheap. Attack fucked up. It's fucked up. That was so fucking cheap. Oh my god, Rich with the shit. See, this is why Rich is a commentator. You came around full circle, so now you're back at one. It almost sounds like a rap song. <laughs> Wanna speak blind? Yeah. Just hit the guide button. It's one of speak blind. Top right of my, or right there, the Xbox button, and then go to uh, main menu, main menu. <laughs> 